Okay, hi everyone. Uh, I just bought myself a brand new Canon EOS 600D camera, DSLR camera, and I was having a little bit of trouble importing the video into Final Cut. Um, it's it's pretty simple to to fix this problem. Just need to download a plugin from um, from Canon, um, and then you've just got to do a very simple little edit. Um, you know of the of of some little plugin, but for that you need a text wrangler as well. All right. Once you do that, open it up, save, and it all works. <clears throat> so my problem was, if I was in Final Cut Pro, and I'd just say go down to uh, log and transfer. All right. Okay, so go into say log and transfer. All right, if I'd go and try to import video, all right, I would just get this um, this this error here. All right. So what I had to do was I just had to go and get just do a Google search. Uh, just do a Google search for this here. I should put that up on the. Uh, on my video, all right, and it'll just uh, give you some uh, some locations of uh, where you can save this plugin. All right, now this is the one where uh, okay, this was one of the the options I got, and uh, all right, I just had to go down and download. All right, uh, this was another site where I was finding it. All right. So I just had to go down, just make sure I selected the right Mac OS. There it is. All right, and uh, here it is here. So you just download it, install it, uh, pretty straightforward. Now, next thing you're going to need is uh, you're going to need this text wrangler. All right, that's just a free uh, text editor. Um, if you can't find it, if you don't have it, uh, just uh, this is the website to uh, to download it from. All right, so you'll need that. Now, what I need to do is I need to find that the uh, the uh, image I need. Sorry, the uh, the plugin. I just need to do a very simple plug uh, edit on the plugin. All right, so I go to my hard drive. I'll go to Go to the library, all right, and then I've got to go down to MIO, then to RAD, then to plugins. It's quite a long process, but I'll just try to put it up. Then I'll go in to yeah, plugins. Then the Canon, then the contents, all right, and then the resources. I think it was. Yep, there it is, and it should be this uh, this file here, the cameras p list. All right, so just open that. Make sure that you're opening it with uh, with Text Wrangler. All right, now you're going to get this. Looks a little bit scary, but don't worry if you've never done this before. All you've got to do is just copy part of the section, like so. Alright, All right, and I'll just give myself a bit of space. And paste. Alright, and uh, all right, so we just have to change that. So I'll just try that again. All right. I'll copy and paste. All right, there, there, there it goes. It works. Now this is just uh, the only editing you have to do. Just go in where it says the key. Change that to six hundred D. And then under the string, instead of that, just call that. 600.
D. All right, there we go. And you just have to file and save. All right, now if we try to install, it should, yep, there we go. And all those videos now just fit in nicely, all right? So now you can just bring it in, click and drag down, and there you go. So it's just, um, should only take a few moments to, uh, to move into your sequence. Right, there we go, up there. Fine, now you can just drop that into your sequence and hit yes. All right, there you go. Yeah, just You just need a few bits of software, but um, it's all pretty easy. Um, there you go, have a good day.